Hello everyone and welcome to the second week of my vlog videos. Um, really, these videos I hope to take you guys behind the scenes, like I said, of my campaign and just to give you guys an update on what I'm doing and, and what, what is happening, you know, in Labour and across the whole nation in terms of the election. So last week really wasn't a vlog, strictly speaking. And since this is my first real vlog, I wanted to take you guys back to my first two months with Labour on my campaign journey and show you guys a little bit of um, what I did, the selection process, and uh, where to from then. So my journey with Labour started with the List Conference. Um, list conferences are actually really scary if you're there for the very first time because they have they put everyone in what we call region one so that is from Auckland all the way to the very top of New Zealand for one day they put us into about 10 candidate slots and we had to do five minute speeches each um, so basically I was in the same session as some really really amazing MPs who've done a lot of absolutely amazing jobs and I had to go right after the really really amazing candidate uh, from up north and she told an absolutely amazing story of how she used her professional life as a lawyer to serve her people as well and how connected um, her family has always been with New Zealand with this land and she is someone to watch out for, absolutely. And so this conference, everyone, after everyone had heard all of the speeches, there were 26 in total, um, everyone wrote down in order of preference uh, their list candidates. And so everyone put on a piece of paper an order of preference who they would like to see on the list and what placing they would like to see on our list. And that was... Um, confidential and our representatives from Region 1 uh, read through everyone's lists and took that to the national um, meeting where everyone from council, from the New Zealand Council sat together and decided on what you now know as our Labour candidate list for 2017. So basically I got the call that day while I was at the night market. Uh, Raymond and our Region 1 rep gave me a call and said, hey Nacy, we want to tell you that congratulations, you're in the top 50. Uh, to be honest, 50 49 to me is already a really, really good number uh, as a first time candidate. And look, to me, um, you always got to start somewhere. And I know that this isn't just a once off thing for me. This is a beginning of a very long story with me and Labour and my journey uh, to become a member of parliament. And so at the same time, they said, do you want to run for East Coast Base? And I said, Oh really? Uh, uh, electorate? Are you serious? Are you serious? Because when I agreed to run for Labour, I thought hmm, I should be a list candidate, and so that way I can just uh, follow Raymond around in the Chinese community. Then I can do kind of my own thing as well with my uh, the younger audience, and that's it. Standing in an electorate is a lot of hard work. First of all, I tip my hat off to everyone who's right now running their campaigns in an electorate because you have to be in charge of your own fundraising, you have to, be, uh, you have to gather your own team, you have to put up hoardings. Oh my gosh, I just had to transport all of the um, boards for all of our hoardings. Each one of them weighed about three kgs. Um, it was absolutely a workout. To me, running an electorate is really, really such a great opportunity because I get to meet um, a specific community of people. I've always been a shore girl, I told you guys last time. And so it gives me an opportunity to really connect one-to-one -to, -one to the people in my community and to really hear about what they care about and to address some of the local issues like the Okura Estuary um, and the development that's been happening in the Long Bay um, Regional Park area and also the traffic. <laughs> um, 
I, I don't have a word, it's just a gridlock every single day when trying to get on the motorway. And so I said, okay, I will run in East Coast Base. And so we began the selection process again for that. And so we had to get everyone's signature. And I had to present myself to the LEC, which is the Labour Electric Committee. And basically, I was voted in as the East Coast Base candidate. So it has been a long journey. And then we went to Congress as well. Congress 2017 was an absolutely amazing experience down in Wellington. We were there early for two days and we had the new candidate media training. It was so intense. They had invited a lot of well experienced media personnel to come in and grill us on the hardest questions you could possibly think of in the most um, daunting manner and we had to still stand by what we believed in and learn how to articulate better what we've always stood for. I think media training isn't really about, you know, putting a personality out there that is not what we truly are on the inside or how you guys know us in a day-to-day -day life. But really media training is about correctly portraying what we really believe in and so that we don't get skewered when it comes out in print or in um, or in interviews and videos. And this time for Congress 2017, I was so lucky to be um, offered to be billeted by our Vice President Beth Houston. It was a pro it was like a family reunion really at Congress. I got to meet so many of the other Labour people from across the nation. Um, met some of my friends from uh, Hastings and Napier and also New Plymouth, Taranaki, some absolutely amazing candidates that are standing in those electorates that I wouldn't have had the chance otherwise to meet. And Jacinda Ardern just made one of the greatest speeches of all time. Youth, mental health and suicide rates. Look, it's an epidemic in New Zealand and we really, really, really need to do something about it. Go check it out on her Facebook page. I'll put a link as well here. Congress 2017, my most memorable highlight would have to be the Women's Sectors Gathering. So basically, all of the um, women candidates and all of our Congress representatives were invited into the Parliament House, into the Labour's women caucus room and I sat amongst I would say almost four generations of labor women who've really fought the fight and won on a many many battles and they each told their story of how they came to be part of labor family and also what they've done to make New Zealand a better place and I just sat there feeling absolutely unworthy really to be in their presence but also so empowered to know that as a young woman the path has already been laid out for me by so many pioneers that have gone before us and you know and it's for me to take on the baton and to keep fighting for women's rights and also to keep fighting against that stereotype that young women can't be successful that young women shouldn't have a place in parliament and young women what we say is not important and so hey um, hopefully you'll continue with me on this journey as I keep um, fighting for these um, voices and also fighting for New Zealand to become a more inclusive country and a country where we care about every one of our citizens. So, um, like always, comment below if you have any questions to ask me. Um, and or otherwise, we'll see you in our next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.